I remember, I mentioned Nicholson. This man was converted under W.P. Nicholson. And Nicholson was an evangelist of his day of extraordinary power. He saw a mighty move of the Spirit in Northern Ireland in the 1920s in the midst of civil turmoil. God's hand was on him in an extraordinary way. And then later in his life, he's in his 80s when this mentor of mine was converted in the 50s. And he communicated constantly the need for young men or anyone to be full of the Holy Spirit, to know the power of the Spirit upon his life. And so here I'm getting a message from Nicholson, who's dead in the 50s, but through another man who learned from him, he's passing on to me, as I say to this brother, how we need another W.P. Nicholson. And he would turn around and say, I can remember, I can still feel it. He put his hand on my knee and he said, no, no, we just need an amen filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what he said. And he's right, not to boast me, it's the, it's the same for any man. We don't need another Knox or another Calvin in the sense of him to be come back from the dead. We need men who will follow these men. I know the power of these men. That's it. Stop trifling. Stop wasting our time. Stop engaging in things that have no value and that we will live to regret before the judgment. 